Hey everyone, this is the ST Modular Honey Eater. This is another one of my DIY builds and it's slowly becoming one of my favorite oscillators. It has a really fat classic analog sound with two sub oscillators and you can mix and match all the different waveforms to really sculpt your sound. It uses the CEM3340 Curtis oscillator chip, which is also used in synths like the OBX and the Sequential Pro. So it's just got like a really great fat classic analog sound and a few other features that make it really fun to use. I personally love that kind of profit sound. And so that's what piqued my interest and why I built this module. I should also note that since I'm having so much fun building all these DIY uh, modules, that I'm starting to acquire a lot of them. So I am giving away modules on my Patreon page for tier three. I just recently gave away the ST Modular Hi-Hat and this coming month, I'm going to be giving away the ST Modular Boba Fat. I will definitely end up giving away a hunting eater at some point. So if you're interested in being a part of those raffles, go ahead to head on over to my Patreon page and sign up. It's a lot of fun and it's just a way for me to give back to you for supporting my channel. I couldn't do it without my Patreon members, so I'd love for you to be a part of that. But enough of all that, let's jump into a quick patch where I can show you what it sounds like and show off some of its features. Okay, let's get started. I've got the Honey Eater right here and a handful of choice modules that I'm gonna use to build a patch. I'll walk you through each step. I'm going to try and color code things so you can kind of follow the signal paths. So let's start out from PAMS. I'm going to use that to set the clock and we'll go into the Turing machine from Music Thing Modular, which is going to provide our random CV that we're going to use as a sequence. Now the Turing machine sends out unquantized voltage, so we're going to want to quantize that. So I'm actually going to use Ornament Crime, which is off the screen, but we'll send the CV out of the Turing machine into Ornament and Crime. And I'll use another output from PAMS um, just as another trigger to trigger the quantizer as well as it's gonna be multiplied and we'll also use it to trigger our gates. For our gates, I'm gonna use Quadrax, which is just a simple rise and fall. And we'll send that out into our VCA. The quantized voltage from the Ornament and Crime is going to go into our volts per octave of the honey eater. Finally, I'll send a signal out of the honey eater and into my Mordex data. So now we've got a really simple patch set up and we can kind of hear some of the tones of the honey eater. So right out of the gate, you can clearly see that this is a triangle wave and it has a, such a great sounding triangle wave. really bell-like, it's just a beautiful tri uh, triangle wave. You can switch out between triangle and saw waves using this switch. So right here, you can hear. And this first knob controls the level of the triangle and uh, and saw wave. So let's turn that down for a second and turn up our next wave, which is pulse. And you can of course adjust the pulse width. Now, also too, if you, if you turn it too far, I wasn't turning it all the way, you can actually cancel out the sound because the pulse just gets too much. So if you turn it too far, it just cancels out the sound. You can kind of hear the clicking still, but. So one of the only complaints that I have about this module, I really love it, but the pulse width modulation doesn't have an attenuator to it. So you do run the risk, 
depending on what you're using for a modulation source, of having it adjust the knob so much that it cuts out the sound. Uh, for instance, let me go from a modulation source off the screen. You can hear it kind of clicking. You know, so you will, you might have to use a different sort of attenuator. Uh, even this Dofer um, LFO I have right here didn't actually make it clip like that. So it's a relatively small complaint, but it is there. So let's just take a quick look at what happens if we start combining these waveforms. So check this out. So if I want to introduce a triangle wave to the pulse wave, you can get some neat shapes. And let's change to a saw. So that's pretty cool. But where the Honey Eater really shines is that you have those two oscillators, the triangle and saw waves, and then you also have the pulse wave, but you also have these sub oscillators and they're down here and they create, here, let me, let me show you. They create pulse waves. So if we turn up the sub value right here. So now, you can you can you can introduce a sub oscillator one octave below or and a second one two octaves below and when you have all three going it creates a super fat sound And another one of the features is uh, frequency modulation. I believe that the um, the BOM states that this switch, which is switches between uh, linear frequency modulation and exponential, I believe that they say it should be um, an on-on switch, just two positions. I put in a third one because I wanted to be able to switch between frequency modulation, linear, exponential, and then in the middle, it's just off. But let me show you a little bit of what that can do. So it gets a little bit crazy without, without any attenuation to it. So I like to use an attenuator, which I have right here, just to give it a really, really subtle effect. So let's hear what that sounds like.
gonna slow this down a little bit. FM is great for creating like percussive hits. And then also here, let me take out, I'm gonna turn off frequency modulation for a second. I should add that there is a great sounding noise that you can either mix in or just have it be your sole sound source. All right, that's it. That's the Honey Eater. I hope this gives you an idea of what it sounds like. I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more and I'll add in some sound clips at the after this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon page. I'd really appreciate the support and I'll see you next time.